Yo, what's up YouTube? So I got a comment and a question I want to address. And part of the comment was, um, the comment was dealing with the whole idea that even though we have limited numbers of black men who can actually make a change, um, we're still there. So why is it that the ones that are, are available don't necessarily involve themselves in whatever black community they find themselves? So why is it that a lot of them seem to, I won't say not care, but not necessarily take up the challenge? Um, and part of it is, A, you just have certain men that don't care. Um, you have certain men that aren't mindful of uh, just the black experience, right? Um, it, it's not natural, you know, we in the black community think that you're born and because you're born and you're black, um, you get it. You understand our history. You understand what's happened to us, you know, on a, 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 a micro and macro level. No, you have to study. You have to go into detail. So your average uh, educated black person doesn't necessarily know about black history and some of the things that have happened in the black community, right? Post slavery. They really don't. So, of course, if you don't know, you don't understand what's going on. Um, but there are men who take up the challenge because they understand what's going on. Okay, they're able to see the world and, you know, detach themselves from uh, just being a black man and can kind of look at the black community from an objective point of view. But in order to look at the black community from an objective point of view, you have to understand what's going on. So you can see and break down how you're thinking and why you think the way you think and all this other good stuff. Um, <clears throat> but then you have a, a, a portion of black men who aren't necessarily connected with the black community because, you know, they feel slighted. They feel played. What do I mean? Um, there's a lot of things that we're not doing. I'll be the first one to say, yeah, there's some things that productive black men can do. But there are certain issues or problems that we're being accused of that can't hold up right where's your proof if we take this to court if I'm being charged with doing something and we take it to court can it stand up can you scrutinize it and can it still hold up and for a lot of black men the answer is no there are certain things like I said before we'll take ownership of in terms of not doing but there's a whole bunch of things that are being placed upon us but we're not accepting it because it's not true or it can't be proved um, for example with older black men you know I really do have a love-hate relationship with these men because they have so much to say but what gets me is they'll always get on younger black men in terms of not doing much right and as if they were there mind you it, it wasn't us who dropped the ball in the 80s okay it wasn't us that uh, uh, led black men to where they are now and led black boys to where we were now we were children some of us weren't even born and some of us were just kids they were the adults where were they you know in the 60s 70s and all this other good stuff right um, and they'll come on and act as if we dropped the ball We'll, they'll come on and act like they had given us everything that we needed, but for whatever reason, we just chose to go south, right? We just chose to not to listen to them. And that's their, you know, argument. But when you break it down and you ask them to prove it, there's no burden of proof. Because I can turn around and prove to you that the whole idea of uh, black men not necessarily being in the home and being able to pro provide for their families on a financial level uh, has always been there. You know, we have these Papa was a Rolling Stone and you look at the profiles of a lot of older successful black men and black women. The father's still not there. So this goes back a couple of generations. So it doesn't stick because you don't you there's not enough evidence to prove that it's our fault. You know, you look at the current state of uh uh, uh, black women and once again it's attributed to men of their own age how can you attribute it to men men of their own age when when they were kids and babies we were kids and babies as well no the father and other people weren't there the uncles and the grandparents and whatever those men weren't there so for those men to come on and say that it was us who dropped the ball and it was us who did this that and the third it doesn't stick so we're not going to accept it so, yeah, there's going to be some sort of standoffish relationship 
if you can't prove that I'm guilty of what you're accusing me of. But I can turn around and prove how you are more so guilty. Not to say that we don't play a part. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that we had nothing to do with it. But in terms of who are the power players, right? Who is the most responsible for the situation? You can't place that on uh, the younger generation of black men that we have today. Um, you know, a, a second uh, example is this whole idea of... Um, there's no good black man or I didn't know what I was doing and I got played and I got hurt um, and we feel like we're trying to get played you know we feel like black women are trying to run a trick play but we can see it why do I say that in order to get a second opportunity what do you need you need sympathy okay so if you didn't turn in your paper or you got a bad grade on the test what are you gonna do you know I was sick I was tired I was going through this time in my life I was moving I had work issues and what you're trying to do is instill some sort of sympathy into your professor or teacher so he can give you a second opportunity right when a prisoner wants to get paroled what do they have to do show that they've been great in prison you know they got their GED they got no, no fights you know they're mentoring other younger inmates because they're trying to instill some sort of sympathy in the parole board so that they can say you know what this guy needs a second opportunity he gets it so when we come to the black community what you see is a whole bunch of women who are trying to force sympathy upon black men by saying we didn't know but I say it's a trick. <clears throat> Why? Most productive black men, okay, can give you at least two examples, whether it, whether it happened to them, a brother or a friend, two examples of where they were passed up for a dude who had more so uh, of that rough natured edge. Maybe not a thug or a gangster, but somebody who was this loose cannon, free spirited person where you really didn't know where they're going to end up. And the woman will say, hey, I think you're a great dude. I think you're responsible. But, you know, I want the challenge. You know, I want to walk on the wild side. We, we've seen it. You know, a lot of the times, it's not black men making stuff up or inferring this and inferring that. Yeah, it happens. But a lot of the times, it's blatant. Right? We, we know what you're doing and we know how you feel because you told us. You know, there are some women who have personalities where they're not going to tell you, but then there are certain uh, black women who are really blatant and they'll tell you. So we've all been involved in situations where it's just like, oh, yeah, you're good. You're hardworking. Um, you know, you're this, that, and the third. You know, you're an excellent, but I want more so of the challenge. Now, in terms of why, I don't care about why, but it's already clear that you knew the difference. So you were able to discern the difference, but you're choosing to go for the bigger challenge, which is fine. But at the end of the day, you cannot go back later and try to instill sympathy. And that's the problem. See, you know, I think a lot of people get caught up in this whole idea. We didn't know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, they knew. A lot of women know the difference. Right? It's like a man who says, um, you know, I didn't know where the good black women are at right but the whole time he's been going after black women who were easy right you know it's just like a dude going after the easiest of black women going after the hoes but then one day saying I want the best and brightest of black women what are they going to say you were only messing with hoes for the longest so don't try to turn around now right you know I've seen it happen personally I've seen dudes only date hoes and then they'll try to turn around and act like they want the productive woman um, you know uh, the few black women who do show the qualities that we want you know I've seen it happen and they'll try to act as if they didn't know and they just thought that you know black women were hoes or they were easy but it's BS because those same women will say hey I saw you pass up other black women who didn't give it up easily so don't try to front and act like you didn't know because you were able to differentiate the holes from the serious women. You knew what was going on. If she didn't give it up, you moved on. So you're able to tell the difference between black women who gave it up easy and black women who didn't. So for you to come back and act as if um, you didn't know, it's not going to work. We're not gonna, you're not going to instill sympathy when it, within us.
but when it comes to you know it being reversed there's this whole idea that you can force sympathy down black men and for the most part it's not going to work and it's just going to cause an issue so you know i'll stop there uh, you know, hopefully you guys get uh, an understanding of what I'm talking about. It's not that black men don't necessarily want to do more and be more involved, but you have a situation where people are trying to accuse us of so many different things, and some of it is justified, but a lot of it isn't. And when and when you want to hold it up to scrutiny, it doesn't hold up. It doesn't pass the test. So, where do we stand? Anyways, you guys take it easy. God bless.